Hey kiddos, I didn't want to let this week go past without you knowing about our saint because he's phenomenal. This is Saint John of the Cross. Okay, there's a little picture of him. You can see he loved prayer and he loved to put himself at the foot of the cross for that prayer. Okay, and he was born into a very poor family. He was a very short little man. Okay, he was shorter than me. So he was shorty. And he lived in the 1500s, again, just like many of the saints we've been talking about. So he actually almost drowned twice as a child, and he said that Mama Mary saved him. So he became a Carmelite, which is an order dedicated to Our Lady of Mount Carmel, which is Mary, okay, one of her titles. So because of that, he became a Carmelite, and he actually met Teresa of Avila. If you remember her from a few weeks ago, she was the great saint who loved prayer but also had a great sense of humor. And she said, thank God, because he's already given me one and a half friars to help me reform. And we aren't sure if she meant that he was one and a half people by himself because of his holiness, or if she meant he was so small that it was like having another guy plus him and he only counted as a half, okay? Um, he became imprisoned, okay? People didn't understand what he was doing and there was a lot of disagreement, so he went to jail. And eventually there was a kind jailer who helped him get out but he never got mad at his jailers. He just said, they don't understand. They don't know. They're just doing their job and they don't know that I shouldn't be in here because I didn't do anything wrong. Okay, so he was always kind. God revealed so many things to him. Okay, and he helped people let go of things on earth, not be attached to them so they could be holier and grow closer to God. He was very gentle and really intense at the same time. So he'd be really kind to people, this really intense life of prayer and giving things up, okay? And he was so holy that he didn't sleep much. He spent more time praying than sleeping, and he could work miracles while he was on earth. So there was one friar, one of his brother friars, who had a broken leg, and he touched it, and it was healed. And there was one time he was outside, and there was this huge storm coming, and he took a compass, and he just drew a cross on north, south, east, and west. Storm gone. Okay? So this was a very holy man. So if you want to draw a picture of him, you can. You don't have to today, though. I'll write his name quick so that you can see it, and then you can draw him. But I just wanted you to know his story because he's such a phenomenal saint. Okay? Here it is, St. John of the Cross. You can do it in print or cursive. And then if you want to draw him... He's wearing his Carmelite garb. He's got his hands up in prayer. So I would just do it like this. Neck. I'm gonna go like this with his hands first. We'll put his cape on in a minute. Get his body on there. Okay, and then his arms are kind of like L's, raised in prayer. Okay, there he is. And then he's got his Carmelite cape on that goes across and down. Across and down. Okay. And then we can get his little face on there intensely looking up and praying to God. Okay. Here he is. And there's St. John of the Cross. His clothes, the cape is kind of a creamy white. And then his habit is brown. And there you have our saint.